Happy Friday! Welcome back to Drinking By Myself. My name is Emma and today I am bringing you my Thrillerathon TBR. So Thrillerathon is a 10 day long readathon I am co-hosting this year with Harriet Rosie, the creator, and the gist is basically to read thrillers, obviously. But Harriet has created this really, really cool Cluedo style TBR. I explained the whole thing in my announcement video, which I will link below and I'll also link to Harriet's announcement video. So today I'm just going to go through the different Cluedo cards and what their challenges are. And I'm going to attempt the hard version of this, which is that every book can only count for one challenge. I don't know if that means I'll finish the whole thing, because there are nine challenges and it's ten days. So it's basically reading a book every day, which I most likely won't be able to do, especially because most of these aren't short books. But I'm going to pick nine books here anyway and just do my best see how many of them I can get through. So starting with the suspect cards, Dr. Peacock is to read the oldest thriller on your TBR, which I took as the thriller that's been on my TBR for the longest, and that is Give Me Your Hand by Megan Abbott. I've still got a proof of this, even though it came out ages ago now and I still haven't read it. I've never read any Megan Abbott before, but she is pretty loved, so if I like this one, that's exciting, then there's a whole other wealth of work of hers that I can read. Sergeant Mustard is read the book with the creepiest cover. And I actually picked this one based off the US cover, I didn't really pay attention. So I picked The Silent Patient. Now this isn't the creepiest cover on my TBR, but this, <laughs> the US cover, is. And that's the one that I've seen most, because most of the book was I watch are American, so that's what the cover that I've seen the most. And I thought it was really, really creepy with the like, rip over her mouth, the whole thing really creeped me out. So I bought the book based on that, but it was only when I actually like, got onto the Amazon UK page that I realised that's not the UK cover, this is the UK cover. So I'm going to say that still counts, <laughs> because that's the cover I had in mind. And yeah, this one's still creepy, but it's just like, it's not the terrifying one that I was going for. And Professor Scarlet is to read the shortest thriller on your TBR. So this one is the only book that I don't yet own physically. I will buy it if I get through enough cards to need to buy that one. But the one that I have in mind for this is The Test by Sylvain Nouvelle. So this one I've had on my Goodreads TBR for a while, so it's, it's the shortest one on there. Um, and it's, I've seen it, Books and Lala recommended it, and I've seen it quite a few places. It looks really interesting, it's kind of a dystopian future, and it revolves around a citizenship test. It's basically all I know about it. It sounds pretty sinister. Okay, moving into the room cards, the library is a new-to-you author. And I actually have two options for this, so that's another one that I don't physically own. The one that I had planned for this originally was The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. Lisa Jewell has written a lot of thrillers, I've never read any of them, so this would be an exciting place to start. But then Kayla from Books and Lala announced her Literally Dead book club, and the first pick for that, and it's happening in February, the first pick for that is... I forgot what it's called, it's a CJ Tudor book, The Other People, that's what it's called. And again, I haven't read any CJ Tudor before, so possibly I will read that one for my new to you author, but I haven't yet decided. I am kind of hoping that this will help me with my balancing the books, like these are all books that are actually on my TBR, whereas that one would just be buying a new one, but I do want to join in with the book club, so we'll see. The Kitchen is a trope you love. And the trope that I love is creepy murderous children. So I've got here a proof of When I Was 10 by Fiona Cummins. And this, I believe, it's about two sisters. And when they're younger, I think one of them kills their parents. Or she does something terrible. And then years later, we're kind of re-exploring what happened. So that's several of the tropes I love. Sisters, creepy murderous children, years later, looking back on things that happened in the past. What fun. And then The Study is a recommended thriller. So for that, I've got Wilder Girls, which everyone has been talking about. You know what? I could switch this with The Silent Patient, because this is quite a creepy cover now, and The Silent Patient is also a really recommended thriller. So possibly I'll switch those ones around if we think that makes them both fit more. But anyway, Wilder Girls is like a Lord of the Flies retelling, like a feminist version of it, roughly, and it's also got like body horror apparently, which I'm not sure how I'll get on with, but you know, gotta push yourself out of your comfort zone sometimes. And then finally, the weapon cards. The candlestick is the newest thriller on your TBR. So the most recent one that I brought home from the office is Our Dark Secret by Jenny Quintana. 
two girls, two deaths, two decades of silence. That's basically all I know about that one. Again, it's like looking back on secrets of their past. Great. The dagger is to read an author you've read before. And so I have a very early reader's copy here of You Are Not Alone. This is not going to be easy to like lug around in my handbag. So this is by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. They are the authors who wrote The Wife Between Us and An Anonymous Girl. I've read both of those. Haven't yet loved either of them, but these have been like really, really popular books. So, and it's like, I do like them. I like their writing. It's just, I haven't yet fallen in love with either of those books. So I'm really excited to give this one a go. I just keep like going in with very high hopes. And then finally, to win the card where the murder weapon is the hardback book, you have to read the group book. And that is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I've been wanting to read this for ages. So I'm really excited to finally have a push to do it. This feels a bit like, Jason Bourne-esque, so it's like a man who goes to sleep and then he wakes up into a world that is not the one he remembers going to sleep in and he's told that that whole world was just a dream and he doesn't know anything about his real awake life but he's very suspicious. I've been so intrigued by this ever since I read that synopsis and there is a sequel called Recursion so hopefully I'll love this one and then I can have another book to be excited about. So that is nine books for nine Cluedo cards. We will see how far I get. I think what I'm going to do in terms of the order of reading them is go through each category to make sure that I start with reading one suspect, one room, one murder weapon. So that even if I then run out of time, I've got one from each category. That's my plan of how I'm going to tackle this. So I would love to know what you guys are planning to read for Thrillerathon. If you're joining in, please do join in. I'm so excited. It's my first time co-hosting a readathon, so I think it's going to be really fun. And also let me know if you've read any of these books and what you think of them, which ones I should start with, which ones I should be most excited about. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button below for new videos every week, twice every week. See you next time.